question were asked of the day. Oh, was yeah, it just a good excuse for sitting around and claiming benefits or a genuine disability that's not their fault? Well, Steve and Michelle, who together weigh over 55 stone, say that uh, other people's anti-fat prejudice is holding them back. We'll hear from them next, but first here's a look at a documentary they're featured in tonight. Britain is getting fatter, and as our waistline grows, so does the burden on the benefit system. A growing number of overweight and obese people have been signed off. Are they sick? Oh, I'm the one who's got to wake up in the morning, look into the mirror and look at myself and say, you know, I'm fat. Dealing with obesity costs the state billions. I'm not proud that I'm on benefits. I don't want to be on benefits. Some want to work, others say they simply can't. It's not my fault that I'm like this. And some claim they're only getting what they're entitled to. The government's paying it for me, but at the end of the day I did work. You know, so really, you know, why not? So obviously we would like you to get involved. We're asking, can you be too fat to work? If you think you can, then tweet the hashtag TM yes, but if you don't, tweet TM no. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. What a brave thing to do that documentary. Why did you just, why did you say yes? Well, um, when it was at first, when I first kind of like wanted to do a documentary, it was because there's a lot of prejudice over there yeah. about um, people overweight, you know, and the, the trouble is when I applied for work before for different jobs, I've always been turned down. Yeah. So then there's a lot of people out there, we're in the obesity world, you know, there's a lot of obesity out there at the moment. And what I was trying to do with the programme was kind of like show that, okay, you know, I'm overweight, yeah. right? But the trouble is, there's some people out there who are overweight, who don't want to find work, and there's people out there who's overweight, do want to find work, but they've got medical issues. Which I completely understand. And the, the, the problem is that when you do a documentary like that, and then there are various scenes in it, which anyone watching would find it hard to have sympathy because you go to a slimming class and we see you at the slimming class and think right, okay well well done actually that's really good that's the first step eating healthily lots of exercise and obviously you've got to start it slowly if you're a bigger person and then you come out of your exercise class and you have two large kebabs why yeah, would you do yeah. such a thing if you've done put all the work into the exercise class then you wreck it when you come out the trouble is with the, tr yeah. the, tr the trouble is is that the problem with me at the moment is where I've tried to lose weight, really lose weight. I even kind of like, you know, um, applied for surgery. I'm on a weight management course mm. at the moment where I come from, right? And that's by the NHS, you know? Now, I'm saying, you know, that why should the NHS and the government pay for me to be overweight? Because at the end of the day, it was my fault that I was, I'm overweight anyway, because I'm the one who fed myself. But let, yeah, absolutely. Let's go back to that kebab question. Yeah. I mean, what, it, what, why would you come out of working working in a, in a Weight Watchers class um, and then have not just a kebab, but you ordered a large kebab? Why do that? Well, Stephen had the large kebab. And, um, what did you have? I had um, roasted spurs with a chicken burger. Yeah. Yeah. And so... I mean, you got married recently, I think, didn't you? And, and at the wedding, you yeah. spent 400... I mean, I, I don't want to get hung up on the kebab thing, but it's a food issue that I'm sort of getting at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, had, you ordered £450 worth of kebabs from your favourite, you know, your favourite fast food place. So what I'm saying is that initially, you want to, you want, there are things in life that you want to get, mm. but you are not... You, you couldn't say that you're eating healthily. Well, it's the trouble is you can't... When you lose weight, when you kind of... At first, let me point out, at first when you're trying to lose weight, it's so difficult, my size, because when my size comes along, I'm so diff it's, it's so difficult because you want to eat and you want to eat, okay? It's, your body's telling you that you want to eat. So next minute, you're trying to kind of like lose weight or go to Slimmer World. You know, I spent around about thousands of pounds on Slimmer World, and, and you can look at me and say, well, what happened? But I did lose around about five stone. But when I've had two strokes behind it, and um, then got serolates on my legs because of caused by weight, mm -hmm. you know, i.e., you know, caused by weight, then it's an issue. So, so with the kebab, it was, we only saw, we only saw one part of the program where we were having a kebab for that one night. And the rest of the time, we've been, we were living on healthy food. But that's what, what worries me, I think, Stephen. Trying to get a job, obviously, is one major issue that you are trying to do, and it hasn't worked for you. But from a health perspective, it's two strokes. You have diabetes now as well. Yeah. Um, and since your first stroke, 
we, we've put on a considerable amount of weight yeah. since then. Yeah. Um, purely from a health perspective, does that not spur you on to really want to try and change your lives? Of course I do. I want to change my life, but I won't be here right now. And I have made that program. The program I wanted to, to make is because I want to kind of like lose weight and I want to show the show people out there that it's the size of me and I can do it. You know, there's you can actually see there's other couples in the program who just kind of like probably want to sit on their sit on their backside mm -hmm. and do, do do nothing about it. The diabetes, the diabetes you've got type two diabetes. I've got type two diabetes. Where I always like to point out here, type two diabetes that's down to uh, that's down to life choices yeah. and uh, and lifestyle. Type one diabetes completely different. You know, nothing oh, yeah. can do that. The type two, you look at yourselves now and think that I mean, you've had your two strokes, uh, weight related. You have your diabetes. You're very immobile. Um, surely it's it's fair or not unfair for an employer to say this guy's too big and no pun intended, too big a risk for me to take on here Correct. in my work. Correct. Correct. But you know, it's but then you've got the you've got um, people out there who are being petrogists, like um, who are saying, well, he's big. You know, he doesn't want to work, but I do want to work. You know, if someone brings up now and gives me a job, right? I would, I would try to... Uh, how do they know you're not going to be poorly? You're going to make yourself poorly, that, that you'll be able to do the job to your best of... I mean, well, when you employ someone, there is a responsibility there. You want them to do the course, job well. Of course. So, so would you be able to do the job? Well, it, 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 certainly it depends on the job. It certainly does. But at the end of the day, I want to. I want to find work. I'm decent about it. I've been going to Skimmer Road. I've been going to all these classes and everything. So I want to do something about it, and you know I'm I'm going away um, on the 18th for a week or so on a boot camp, where they kind of like can assess me to see what I can do and what I can do, yeah. and to sort my diet out. So so with your diet, with both of your mm -hmm. diets, I mean we all know dull as it is. Okay. There's just no you know eating eating healthily is not as much fun as eating the the, the junk stuff because that's very tasty. Um, although countless times we've had on here people who've made really lovely, healthy uh, dishes and, mm. and they taste fantastic and there are very few calories. It's possible to do, but my, my thought here is the fact that you are looking as if you want someone else to help you with it. You want help for that to happen, but you haven't got the willpower to do it yourself. Would that be true? Um, well, I've got the willpower. I've, uh, I've um, signed up to Activate Gym in Plymouth. Yeah. Um, I haven't been been for like two weeks because he's been in hospital and stuff like that. And you were a carer as well, so yeah. we shouldn't forget that that's a very difficult thing. Yeah. Um, Stephen hasn't got the willpower at the moment, but he's trying. And what about you? Me. Um. If you're a carer, are you cooking his meals? Yeah, I'm cooking his meals. Do you cook him healthy meals? I cook him like spit spaghetti bolognese and stuff like that. So no treats. I don't I, I, I have seafood. Is that as a treat? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a seafood. Like I like cockles and mussels. Yeah, well, I like that too. But, yeah, uh, so. but, but, but when I say treats, is it like treats as in, okay, if you were to look at the end of the day, what you've sort of eaten, which mm. you maybe hadn't thought you no, had? No, what it was, I don't know what you're getting at, is, you know, we don't, I used to kind of like have treats, but now is, um, when I finished doing this program, I looked at the program and I think, well, some of it, and I was thinking, Oh, what a mess. You know, you look at it, don't you? Think, what a mess and what I am. So I've actually turned around and said to me, all the troops has got to go out, everything else. You've got to take this seriously because tomorrow you might be dead. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and it's not just me, it's thousands out there. It's the same size, probably the same size as me. Mm -hmm. And all I'm saying to myself is that, you know, I want to lose weight, loads of weight, get myself sorted out. And I'm not asking to sponsor off the government for it, right? I'm asking, you know, that I want to do it myself. Well, you obviously have a conscience here because the thing is that you are you are expensive to keep um, because you you have uh, uh, two carers, I think. Um, one carer, please. One carer. Only one. One carer. Okay, we had one we carer had twice a day. One, one carer twice a day. Okay, um, and so and they're obviously quite expensive. You know, that's a that's a that's a cost. Uh, um, uh, there there are the benefits as well that we about seventeen hundred pounds a month in benefits. Mm. And I know that you say you don't you don't you say you don't. I think I think you said you were not fussed about it, but um, but 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 certainly your point of view is that you don't want to be on that. You don't no, want to be doing no. that. So you have a conscience. Of course I do. 
What job would you like to do? Well, I applied, I applied for um, a car park job. I'm not going to tell you the company, but I've got a piece of paper with me. And I applied for a car park job, um, sitting down in the office, taking tickets. Yeah, yeah. And brilliant, you know, com on computer. And I was turned down for that because I was too, too overweight. Did they give you a reason why you couldn't sit down and do the job? It's because I was overweight. And that's all they said? That's it. And if he managed to lose some weight mm -hmm. and you weren't a care anymore, would you go out and get a job? Yeah. What would you like to do? Um, well, I don't know yet, but I'll try and think about it. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a very brave thing that you've, uh, that you've done coming in here. We appreciate it very much indeed. Um, Katie says, I used to weigh 28 stone and done for many years until I finally decided to make a change. Despite my weight, I've held down numerous jobs. It's an excuse for the lazy and bone idle to get something for nothing. That's what she says. Uh, Claire says, I'm a large woman. I would love to work. I apply for loads of jobs and still nothing. So it's a similar situation to what you have there. If you can sit, you can work, says Devon. Obviously, you were trying to sit in that job and mm. they turned turn you over, turned you down. And uh, Chris says, for most people, being overweight or working to maintain a healthy weight is a lifestyle choice. I'm overweight and it's because I like food and avoid excessive exercise, but I still work. Trouble um, is, trouble is, you see, the, what the, see, the, the government is making it easy for people like us. So it's the, the, it's the government's fault? No, 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 I'm just not saying that. The government is making it easy for people who is on benefits, okay? Because the, the confusion with real is you've got PIP and you've got disability living allowance and that. Okay, they, they haven't got a clue. They haven't got a clue. Would it be easier if they took them away? Yes, that's what I, that's what I reckon. I don't just, I don't just, I, I want to point out because people's reading it. I don't deserve, I don't think I deserve nothing. I don't deserve nothing. I'm the one who put, the, put myself in this situation, not no one else. And I was addicted to food. Yeah. Okay, and I'm trying to sort myself out. Let me point that out. I'm trying to sort myself out. And that's why I've, I've done this programme. Well, I hope, I hope, and uh, for, for all of us here, I hope that it works. I hope you get to the person that I think... Mm. I need help. I need help. You said just now, am I crying? Basically, you were saying to me, Steve, are you looking for, you, are you crying for help? Which, which I am. And if someone could give me a tick at the backside and say, you know, help me, then I would, I would take it. Benefits to Back to Work is tonight at nine on Channel 5. And I, and I would reiterate what I said when you both sat down. I think you're very brave to come today. I really appreciate you coming in. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we are behind the scenes of Broadchurch on that.